לבוב
But the train, when it's moving, the train, the train, when the train is moving in a high speed, if you jump from the train, <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Those are the words of, you know, Simon Toko, Fumu Toko, Mayamona. <laughs> That's uh, that, that. Those are the, his words, not mine. <laughs> All right, Atona Masaka family. Nice to have you around. Please, have you not? Prepare your pens, your book, and take notes. The word we will be sharing with you does not belong to us, but comes from above. If we believe, if you believe, praise the Lord. If you don't believe, praise the Lord. But the train will move on. You see, Amen. our mission is to convey the word. But I know at this time, it is very, very, very tough to convey, you know, uh, words of wisdom from the one of Venela. You know, it is very, very tough. Why? Because we know, if we go, go back, the religious system, you know, they can invade the land, you know, our continent. And they pervert, they 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 uh, flipped everything upside down. But unfortunately, there was nobody to to stop them unless Fumo Yesu. And with by doing that, you know, to us, they even cause, you know, they cause, you know. If I can say, you know, the African people to think something they are not. You know, this is the work of a religion, religious, you know, religion. Religion is dangerous. But now our mission is to make our people to learn all the garbage, the religious system has implanted into our people. Yeah, the Wonder, you know, the word of the Monday is very confused sometimes. We must be very focused to understand. So that confusion Kadia Pemba has installed within this religious system. This is what we would like to touch by sharing with you the word from the Moana Velela. You know, we'll touch a lot on that one. There is one religious system. It is busy disturbing, deceiving many people in this world. So pay attention. Matola, if you have, if you may present the document, pay attention on the word from above. Take note and share with your loved one, especially your family members, all right? Those who are still, those who are still stuck in destruction of religion. So these are the words from the Moana Velala. You know, the Moana Velala he speaks to us like a friend. He doesn't speak to us through, you know, just only through dreams or vision, no. But when he speaks, we take notes. We write down everything he speaks and we convey to the children of God, the children of Zambi, which is you all. So those are the words from the Manda we would like to share with you as well. And we hope everybody pay close attention so that we can go together. Yes, Mama Matsola, can we go from the title, the topic, to the point three? Okay. The things from Revelation 12 and 13 are already happening. Words of the Lord spoken through the Holy Spirit on November the 10th, 21. Yes, sorry, my father. You know, that the date is very old. That is the date the mother spoke last year, not last, last year, in 2000, uh, in 2021. That is very old. We have a book where everything is written, you know, and we have to share this slowly, but everything is recorded in a book. Yes, Mama Tola. Thus says the Alamo, Lord, may the peace of Nzambi be with the children of Nzambi. May the peace 
of the zombie be with the children of the zombie. May the peace of the zombie be with the children of the zombie. Whoever heard the word of Father Maimona and obey it, he is saved. Whoever heard the word of Father Maimona and obey it, he is saved. Okay. Yala. Yala. Why the mana say that? And why the mana called him father? You know, Maya Mona. That's how the mana called him. That's how we call him Father Maya Mona. You know, and this this if I can say, you know, the way we, we you know we called him is very old. Back in the days, our forefathers they used to call him as well, Father Maya Mona. But back in the days they couldn't do that because of the colonization, you know. Just calling small talk of Father Maimona, it was putting him in, 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 in problems. Because this information went all the way to Vatican, reporting that there is a black man claim to be like you, to be claim to be like a father to all the black people that, are, that, that were there in the land. So this put him into problem. That's why the Muslim women say, no, don't call me father. Just call me uncle. That's all. Don't call me father to avoid the situation. And why the one said, you know, whoever obey his word will be saved? Because of the parable of the Vuji. When you see this family of bird, if we don't have the discernment from the man of Elila, we won't be able to distinguish who is the grandfather, who is the father, and who is the grandson. Lvovamo. Yala. 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 The moment we missed the discernment, but that will be a problem to us. Yes, Mamozola. These things that are happening are what John saw in the apocalypse. Times are at an end. That is why you're seeing a lot of things happening in the world, such as the things spoken of in Revelation 12 and 13. I Family, you know, this word was spoken to 2021. And you know, you know, many things was happening. Many things was happening. Many things. Terrible stuff. And when we're praying to Nzambi, for him to stop sometimes all the thing, this thing happening, <laughs> the man sometimes just laugh at us. It's like, why are you praying for, for you to, for them to stop it? It is needed for this and that to happen. Why? Because those things are already written in the Revelation 12 and 13. You can read that, the whole chapter, you will understand. The man said it is important for those things to happen in this world because they are written. When something is written, doesn't matter how much we pray, Zambi won't stop. He will fulfill his word. Whether that is a good thing happening or a bad thing happening. But those are the things the man spoke. Yes, Mama Tzola, you can proceed. The rising... The rising of the enemy and the end of the world. The enemy has risen up and he says, now I rule the world. The Pope is arming himself and Nzomi is just looking at him. Lvovamo. Yala. Yala. We won't hesitate, but we will mention the names, you know, Bob. You saw that, that figure there. Remember, point four, the one that said the enemy is, you know, is a rose, is risen up, and it says, Now I rule the world. Let me tell you something, family. Even currently in this world we live in, nobody has more power in this earthly, you know, government than Paul. Am I correct? Yes. Nobody. Yes. You know, in a time of COVID, all the leaders, you know, the Western leaders, they went together themselves, even some African leaders, they, they went as well. They went together, some of them, they, they, they gathered themselves into Vatican. 
and what to, they were busy discussion. You can't know that unless the wonder revealed that. And when the wonder revealed, later on we saw the result. You know, we decide, we heard from the wonder, from the diaspora, we also heard from the wonder, you know, uh, from Mama, Mama Brenda, you know, Mama Brenda. We heard from the, the wonder user to disclose what they were busy talking in the Vatican. Then later on, out of nowhere, you know, they accuse South Africa, say that South Africa is responsible for, for that viral. I think it was Omicron. You know, anybody, can you confirm that? In the Omicron. Yes. They accuse South Africa that is responsible for these virus. But their, their plans, you know, was to, was to destroy. Even until now, they continue to destroy. That's why you see a lot of love in South Africa. It's to destroy Africa. You know, back in the day, they, they, they started, you know, in Angola, in the kingdom of Congo. But now the focus is South Africa. That's why you see South Africa in the BRICS. Are we together, family? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. why you see Putin came to South Africa. And South Africa said, we will not arrest him. Because the Western, they want to arrest Putin. But, you know, South Africa, they say, we will not touch him. And nobody will even there themselves to arrest Putin in our country. Because, you know, Putin, you know, uh, the uh, international court has delivered, you know, uh, the warranty to arrest Putin. But they refuse to do that. And Western government, they are, they are full of hatred against South Africa. And plus, South Africa joined the BRICS. South Africa is part of this organization that they are doing all their best to make the US dollar, sorry for you guys, to collapse. You know, but South Africa is one of them. So back in the days, you know, when COVID was hitting, the, their plans was to destroy South Africa. And the moment that information was launched, that South Africa is responsible for that virus. Unfortunately, all the presidents from Africa, they closed their borders to South Africa, including my country. They closed in Ramaphosa. It was very furious. It was like, why, do you, why are you doing this to me? You're my brothers. You're supposed to help me out. Those guys, they want to destroy our economy. But you know, African president, their puppet, they just obey the Western. But all that was already written, family. Yes. And the reason they went to Vatican and the reason why later on you see this news that South Africa is responsible for this virus was because someone was responsible to instruct the Western country to accuse South Africa. And guess, family, who was that? That person? The Pope. <laughs> I would like to, I would like, to, you know, I, would, I wanted you to say Kadiam Pemba. Kadiam Pemba. Yes, you know, he used people. He used people. He jumped from people to people. He used people. And currently, you know, he's busy using that, that person. That was the instruction Kadiam Pemba delivered to this wicked government. If anybody didn't know, yes, we must know that family. Yes. And point five says in Zambia, you know, he's, he's saying that, you know, I command the world. I command the world, but Zambia is just looking at him. You know, let me tell you something. The slavery will never happen if Paul back in the days was against it. It will never happen, slavery. He was the one who signed, you know, if I can say the document allowing those wicked act to happen. Yes, Mama Tola. The Pope is arming himself and Zombie is just looking at him. So this is the time to listen and practice what Father Mayumona has been saying. Didn't you hear? On Sunday, he is saying it enough to hold the hand of Nzambi. 
Remember the hymn? Simba muko kokwam fumu. It means hold the hand of a zombie, the Lord, who is part of Mayamona. Yallah. Yallah. The scripture, you know, Isaiah said, nobody knows me except the Father. Nobody. And it is impossible to know Isaiah if we don't have the Mona Velela. It is impossible. It is impossible. That's why the Manda Velala delivered that word. This moment is the moment to listen and put into practice what you listen. Why? By putting into practice, you will be showing that you will have a faith in Zambi and you are holding his hand. Family, what is still coming in this world we live in and this year? If we hold in Zambia Bungu, you know, here, when you do like this, it's gone. And we will, stay, we will be left behind. This is the moment to hold him like this. You know, if he goes, you know, wherever he goes, you are there, you, you are with him. The one that wants us to hold in Zambia Bungu like this, with strength, not here. No, not here. Because when you do like this, it's gone. Yes, Matola. The world is already at the end. The things that are in Revelation 12 and 13 are already happening. And the place where the children of Nzambi will reign is here on the earth. It will just be modified. It is right here where what Revelation 12 and 13 speak is going to happen. All right. The Vuvamo. Yalla. Yalla. Sister Rafa, get ready. I will be needing your help to read. Family, this is what the Buena said. A religion, they teach us to leave this place. They, they teach us to pray for rapture so that we can escape and go somewhere. But as this is what the mother said. We pray for invasion. We don't pray for rapture. If it happened, let it be. But we pray for invasion. We want to invade this system. We want to invade the earth. Because we believe that the place where the children of God will reign is here on earth. Here on earth. Why do we think there is a lot of wealth in this, in this world? especially Africa. What do you think this wealth is for, family? What do we think? Is this, is this wealth just for the Western, you know, country? For them to steal, you know, and finish? No. What is the no. purpose for this wealth? It's for you and me to enjoy it. It's for me and you to enjoy, family. Zambi, that's why we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth, it, it is in heaven. Family, in heaven, the street, they are made out of gold. That's why you see gold here. They don't use, you know, those asphalt. Those, no, 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 not that far. In heaven, the street, the, the street is made out of gold. Do you believe that, family? In Geta. Geta. Are you, are you really sure you believe that? In Geta. That is true. That is true. In heaven, you know, in Zion, heaven, gold, you know, gold is everywhere. Sandals made out of gold. Belt made out of gold. A, st a street made out of gold. A plane made out of gold. Everything you see on earth is just a replica from heaven. The Vuvum. Allah. Yeah. And yeah. this is true. You can pray about it, Zambi. If you believe, you you know, if you pray with faith for the most high to show you this, it will show you everything clear. clear. There, there is a lot of testimonies, you know, on YouTube everywhere, and you can confirm that. That's why you see a lot of wealth in the land. 
this wealth is not for us to go somewhere and just stay here. No, tell me, it doesn't. He doesn't plan to destroy the wealth. He created all this wealth, this wealth for a purpose. We shall walk in a street made out of gold. A plane made out of gold. A plane. <laughs> All right. Mr. Rafael, are you ready? Mr. Rafael, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Matan Masaka. Okay. Let's go to point eight. Please. Kaleon Pembe hid everything and has covered it very well. Okay. Kaleon Pemba hid everything and he has folded, you know, he folded everything, you know, he folded everything so that nobody doesn't see. That's why people pray for rapture. They want to escape from this world. As I said, but we pray for invasion. Why? Because we know where the wealth is hidden. Lvuvam. Yeah. Yalla. Yalla. That the place where we will wish we, where we shall walk in a street made out of gold is here. Is here. But can you remember? He hid everything. And he for he covered, you know, everything very well so that people, you know, become blind. So that people become blind, they don't see it. And they see the world as, you know, an evil place, a place where you can't live. Okay, there is a lot of evil. But the Bible said, heaven was made for Zambi and family. Can you help me out? Anybody remember the scripture? His angels. And, and the Malachians. And his angels. Heaven is for Zambi and his angels. Earth is for us. It's for us. Kajan Pemba has said everything. Family, the Vatican, they know your history. Remember that since back in the days, you know, the kingdom of Rome, Rome, the Roman kingdom, was one of the most powerful kingdoms that, you know, has never been colonized. The Roman kingdom. There was no army stronger than the Roman kingdom, you know, able to defeat them. No, there was. The Roman, they were never defeated. The only thing that defeated Roman, Romans and caused them to, you know, to become weak and to disappear the way they are now was lust and sexual immorality. It, it was what destroyed them to dust. So those guys, they know the history, if I can say, of the humanity. They know a lot. They have everything, all the records that's happened in this world. They know it. They have it. Even until now, they have it. You wonder why the Vatican is in, is in, in, in Italy? You wonder why the, the Vatican is in Italy? There is a reason for that. There is a reason for that, family. They know everything. They know our history. They know who you are. They know it. The Vatican knows. The Pope knows it. And you wonder what, you know, you wonder why you when you look to the talk assembly, you see a lot of similarity. There's a reason for that. Toko was able to send his disciples inside the Vatican. Without them realized. Without, without them realized. To discover everything and to read all the books. To discover, to uncover all the hidden information. So was sent a disciple to the Vatican. When these elders arrived in the Vatican, they were black. But of course, who are you, black person, to enter the Vatican? And to access, you know, hidden information. Who are you? Whether we believe or not, but the disciples talk was sent. And I'm speaking about it in the year 2000. For many people, Smontoko is dead, but he's not dead. He's alive. 
is different, he's using a different body, he's alive. He's saying to those elders to the Vatican and gave them instruction on what to do. And how do those do those elders, you know, had access to the hidden secret of Vatican? Toko transformed those elders into white. Move on. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. possible? <laughs> In get out. The devil has the power to transform him, himself into everything. Why can't we have that power? The agent of Satan, you know, the devil worshiper, they have the, they have the power to transform themselves into snake, dog, into everything they want to, into everything. Why can't why can't that be possible? So instructed the elders to go to the Vatican. As soon as they arrived, they were transformed into white. But that white, 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 with you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, fake, you know, let me just say white. And by being transformed into white, they entered into the Vatican. How? <laughs> yes, they entered. They had access into air. <laughs> I can't go deeper. No, no, no. This happened. This happened. The thing that we know is what you find inside the Vatican, but it's hidden. Do we not disclose? How do we know a lot about the Vatis? The only, you know, if I can say religion or church who knows better about the Vatis, who knows a lot about the Vatis, is the Catholic Church. But they will never teach people about that. They will never. But guess what? We know that. And we explain also to you. But another day we'll, we'll speak more on this. So yes, is that fair? Point nine. Father Mayamona is no longer in the clouds. He's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. When, you know, the man is speaking about Mayamona, you know, he's speaking about Christ. People waiting Christ from, to come from the cloud. Well, don't confuse presence with manifestation. It is possible for me to be present in your house, but not manifested. If you come to my house and hide yourself, and hide yourself under the, the curtain, will I be able to see you? No. no. But you are present. That's what the mother said. <laughs> He's no longer there in the clouds. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there anymore. Anyway, yes, let's continue the affair. The end of the Catholic Church. When the time comes, there will no longer be any Catholic Church. The seers have already said that the priest, quote, Catholic Father, will be stoned. The church will thin out. And you here in South Africa, and you here in South Africa will see that everything shall fall down. Mm -hmm. Yalla. 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 There will no longer be a Catholic church, family. I'm telling you. There will no longer be a Catholic church. This is a prophecy and it shall come to pass. The seers, you know, back in the days, you know, back in the days, that's how we used to call, you know, the, the, the Vatis, seers, you know, when the money is up on them. They have already prophesied this, the mother said. The Catholic fathers, they will be stoned. They shall be stoned. They shall be stoned. Well, of course, Zambi knows the heart. By saying that, they shall be stoned. It doesn't mean all of them, but Zambi knows. He is the owner of the vineyard, and he knows how to differentiate. This is a, this is a wheat, and this is a, a wheat. Weed family? Weed. Yeah. Yes. He knows how to differentiate. 
Mm. But the truth is, the cattle fathers, they shall be stoned. You wonder why if you go on your internet, you will find a lot of wicked, evil stuff. You know, how come a father is a gay? How come father, two fathers are coming together for intercourse? Who does that? So Zambi knows everything and Zambi sees everything. That's why the mother said that. They shall be stoned. When people realize, you know, <laughs> when people wake up, that they hid the, the secret of Fatima. When people wake up, that they hid everything. When people wake up, that in Vatican, they bow down to a black statue, statue, a black Mary, a black Jesus, that they give, you know, a painted uh, Jesus to the world, what people will do, family? Um, will be angry, angry. <laughs> they will be angry they will be like why did you deceive us why did you deceive us and the result they will <clears throat> stone the catholic priest i wish i would be there as well to grab a stone and you know throw it i wish you would be there too that's one you no know? anyway yes um point 11 sister right there Catholic Church will no longer exist. They hid everything so that the people would not be saved. But the cleaning of Messiah will take place. Okay. They hid everything so that people will not be saved. Family. The, the doctrine from the Catholic Church is, you know, is, is, you know, makes it possible for people to go to hell. This is true. And there was there is a lot of testimonies about that. And we will we will see down there the reason why we're saying that. You know, in Angola, in Angola, there is a statue of Mary. That statue, every year people come together to 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 Celebrate, you know, Catholic, they have, you know, a uh, uh, gathering, you know, they like to go in group and stuff. Every year, every year people go there to celebrate. But that statue family speaks. There was this lady, this lady, she was a Satanist. And this lady said the day she was initiated as a Satanist, at night, at midnight, she was taken to this place where the statue of Mary is found and she said they brought with them two coffins, two coffins, or even more. They brought with them two coffins with dead people. And when they arrive in the place where the statue of Mary is found, they open, you know, I don't know what they did, but they open somewhere the statue and they insert their coffin inside the statue. And the statue, when they, they you know, family, are you understanding what I'm saying? In Geta. You know, they brought coffin with them and they introduced those, cof those coffin. They put inside the statue. And the moment those, those two coffin was put inside the statue, the statue began to speak. And the statue said, <laughs> was laughing. The statue said, many people think that I am just a statue. They are wrong. I have a life. I see everything people do. And they think I am Mary. That's what they think. I just look at them. I don't say anything. This the lady that was listening to this, she was blown away. She was very afraid. And she realized how evil the Catholic Church is. She was like, How come? Thousands and thousands of people have, you know, always come here every year. And they bow down before the statue. And now the statue is speaking to me. Wow. That's the reason my mother said. They hid everything so that people will not be saved. They lead people to bow down to those demons. But don't they who will see it? Yes, it's a refer. We'll go.
Point twelve. Not seen all of it. Thank you. When the world is in turmoil, it is your sires cleaning. We're see, um, we're taking serious stuff. Are you listening? We are talking serious stuff. Everything will be destroyed for the cleaning of Messiah to take place. We have spoken. Amen. Amen. This is what the Moana said. Yala. Yala. When the Yala. world is in turmoil, when you see problems, when you see war, you know, when you see many bad things happening, don't think that Zambi is not aware of that. He is aware of that. Christ is, you know, full of love, but <laughs> he's also just. The one said, all the stuff you see happening in this world, it is the cleaning of Christ. You know, the broom of Christ is tending to whip everything. You know, when you're cleaning with the broom, you just sweep, you sweep everything. The broom of Christ is tending to clean the world because this world is very dirty. That's why you don't like it. That's why people pray for rapture. And the morning said, we are talking serious stuff. Are you listening? And then we say, yes, we are listening. We are talking serious stuff. Everything shall be destroyed. Everything shall be destroyed. Zambi will shake the world. <laughs> And destroy it. You know, it's like, you know, let me tell you something. When you're cleaning a room, you remove things, you clean with the broom, and you put it back. Correct? In ghetto. Yes. This is what will happen in this world. This is what will happen. Rapture is true, it's not fake. It shall happen. But many people think we'll go disappear and go somewhere. No. What will happen? It is just the same way you clean the room. You remove things, you clean, and you put it back. And you enjoy. This is what will happen in this world we live in. So for anybody who is a Catholic family member, don't worry. Don't get, you know, don't think, ah, you know, don't, don't, don't worry. But we will share the word with wisdom. You know, we will share the word with freedom slowly so that they can get the message and be saved as well. Not just Catholic. We speak about the entire religion system, but especially, you know, Catholic and Christian. That's our focus. And down there, we will see a testimony from a sister, you know, on how the cut, you know, Zambi is very disappointed to the doctrine people, you know, the religion is teaching people, particularly the Catholic religion. You will see what, you know, they've been teaching people and the consequences of that. Yes. Mama Shelley? Are you are you ready to go, to read for me? Thank you very yes, much. Thank you. Sorry, there. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. The title says, Mama Shelley. The title says the Catholic Church is place. Oh, Catholic Church a place full of darkness, deceiving the world. Okay. Testimony from a sister on how evil and deceitful the Catholic Church is. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can. Yes. All right. This is what she said after a near-death experience. Throughout my near-death experience, out of nowhere, I felt a tremendous force propelling me. I was transported to a cathedral while simultaneously being raised to a height at which my legs were unable to make contact with the ground below me. When I finally arrived, 
I discovered that the building had a different entrance than I had expected. Um, however, I was unable to move on my own. Soon afterwards, I became aware of a chorus of voices singing from within the building structure. I could barely remember the lyrics of the song. The chorus was the only part that stayed in my mind, and it went something like this. He is the son of God. No one goes to the maker except through him. He is the light of the world. No one would see the truth and the light except through him. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, sorry, my mom, my mom mm -hmm. You want a wife family? The question is this. If the true Messiah was the one, you know, the Catholic presented, why, you know, people are still found in the darkness? If the truth was what they presented, even in the land, if the truth was what they taught our fathers why do we still find in this position the sister said she heard a voice of people singing says no one will see the truth and the light except through him if somebody introduced you a fake messiah this means that it is possible for you not to see the truth and the light because the truth and light is only found except through Isaiah. Isaiah. That's why, you know, we, the Bantu people, we like to pray in Congo, in our mother tongue, so that when we mention the name of Isaiah, you know, mother tongue has weight. It has weight. And I'm not saying those who pray in English and say, Jesus, you know, they are wrong. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying there is a reason why we value our local, our African language so much. So that when you mention the name, it is weight. And the response, of course, is quickly, is very quick. Anyway, what about Michelle, point three. The words of the song were very deep, and they kept singing and repeating it for a very long time. The words struck such a chord deep within me that I couldn't help but well up with tears. For the entirety of my life, I have always considered Mary to be the primary figure in my Christian religion, whereas Jesus has always been regarded as more of a supporting role. Mm -hmm. I broke down in tears and felt terrible about what I had done. Okay, let's go. Um, thank you. Matondo. Then after some time had passed by, I gradually heard the cry of a woman who was dressed in a white robe and wore a pristine white veil over her head. As I approached her, she did not stop weeping even though I was getting closer. When I finally reached her, I wanted to inquire who she was, but instead, I found myself trying to console her while simultaneously trying to figure out why she was crying. After some time, she began speaking before I could even ask her name, almost like she was reading my thoughts. She revealed herself to me as Mary, the mother of Yesu. She held my hand and began to walk with me. She led me to a new location that resembled the garden. That resembled the garden. It had a pleasant ambience. The air was crisp, and the area had a lovely atmosphere. She informed me that she had something very significant to convey to me at this time. She disclosed to me that she is aware of what many Christians believed. She said they believed this even more than they did in Isaiah himself. 
She stated that many Christians consider belief in her to be the proper course of action. This is something that many believe. Mm -hmm. This is the focus of the Catholic, you know. They even say, you know, Mary, Mother of God. Mm -hmm. That's a blasphemy. That's a huge blasphemy. In praying, saying that, that's a huge blasphemy. That's why, you know, we're preparing the people of Zambi to convey this message slowly with your family member who is a Catholic. No attack. No attack. Otherwise, you know, they will they will shut you down. <laughs> no attack. Slowly ask questions. If you know anybody, anybody who is Catholic, just ask questions, plenty of questions. And send him maybe this video or this text. Yes, Mama Shelley, let's continue. Okay, I can only see the title. Matoni, praying to Mary. She told me praying to her, Mary, or praying through her was wrong. She made it extremely clear. Sorry, she made it extremely clear that Isaiah, Jesus Christ, is the only mediator for us. Any form of an object aside from the Bible must be put aside and rather focus on the word of Katan Zambi. Mm -hmm. And how do they pray? How do they pray in Catholic? <laughs> how do they pray? The rosary beads and they call on Mary. They pray to Mary, you know. Mm -hmm. They pray through Mary and to Mary, both. Mm -hmm. And they put Isaiah somewhere. You know how can you pay my last things? Yeah, that's why the mother said they hid everything. What's wrong with that? Who invented that? You know, if the key, if the child, if the boss is the child, I want to go straight to the boss, not to the mother. Okay, you the mother of the boss. I will respect you, but I want the boss, your son. Yalla. 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 But they say no, because she is the mother of the boss. You have to request her anything you need from the boss. What is that? Inversion. <laughs> Inversion of values. That is a pure wicked family. And we will see that. Michelle? Okay. She explained. She explained to me that each and every doctrine that Christians adhere to needs to be thoroughly evaluated. No, 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 no. Yalla. Yalla. The question is, who is the person responsible for the evaluation of this Christian doctrine, doctrine that you see out there? People go to the church with, you know, with a vest. People go to the church with a short. You know, I mean, what is that? What is that? What is that? Everybody's a pastor. I sleep and I wake up, I open my own church. Who gives you authority for that? That's why you don't, you know, that's why you you, you run away from church. Because that's, you know, there's a lot of mess going, going, going on. Everything was flipped. That's why. Mary say that to the sister. And the question is, who is the person responsible to, you know, to evaluate this Christian doctrine? Who is the person to say this is good, this is evil? This is good, this is evil. The Mwanda. It's the Mwanda Velela. And this, this Mwanda Velela is what the Catholic Church chased away. The Catholic Church chase the Mwanda Velela away. That's why, once again, if you go to the internet, if you write Vati, V-A-T-E, if you write Vati, you will see the meaning of Vati is a prophet. But they chase the Mwanda Velela away. Family, do you remember that back in the days, the Catholic Church, they used to burn people, accusing people of a witch? Do you remember? Yes, yes, we do. Yes. There is a reason for that. 
they used to accuse many people, wait, this is a witch, let's burn these people, let's burn that people. The truth is, not all those people were witch. The truth behind that was about VAT. VAT. You know, let me tell you something. A VAT doesn't care who you are. You can be a pastor, reverend pastor, a bishop, archbishop. If you are wrong, he will denounce you and tell you in your face, you are wrong. You have to change your behavior and repent. It doesn't matter the person he's used. He can use a 10 years old. He can use a woman because in this world, you know, women is seen as a weak vessel. The mother doesn't care. He use whoever he wants to use. He can use a child and women and to confront a pastor and say you're wrong. Now imagine a person confronting a, a deacon and say you are wrong. You know, deacon, those guys, they have power. They can accuse and say, hey, this is a witch. Burn this, this person. And automatically, all the colleagues, because they were denounced, why? Because they were wicked, they will burn the people. Most of people, Catholic, the Catholic Church burned back in the days. They were not the witch. They were vates. Yeah, Allah. Yeah, Allah. Yeah, Allah. Family, are we understanding each other? Yes. In Geta. In Geta. You can't find any way. Only the one that is able to reveal the truth. They burn a lot of vatis. Why? Because the vatis, be, through the power of the Mona Vela, it tells you the truth. They hide nothing. Brother Bell is there. If I sin, and after sin I go, I go to, to the service or to the prayer meeting, the Mwanda will detect me. The Mwanda will be addressing you know, each and everybody. But when he arrives in my direction, he will stop at me and he will stay at my eyes. Abel, am I lying? No, it is true. Who's that? It is true. The Mwanda doesn't care who we are. He doesn't care. He denounces everybody. And he will look, he will stay at your eyes and say, you better change your behavior. And Zambi loves you, but you must change your behavior. Don't do that anymore. And we'll be like, what? Don't do that. What did you do? That the reason they burn I many people. But if you go to Google, you will find many reasons. That's a lie. The truth is, they burn many people because those prophets, those vatis, they were denouncing the, their evil. And because of that, they didn't like it. And we will see that in this testimony. You know, I don't know his, this sister. I don't, I, I don't know her. But what she said in her testimonies, you can confirm to the, to the word of the Moana Velala, we told you ahead, ago, you know, and to this information or this explanation we are giving to you. Marcelli, you can go. Sorry. Um, she claimed that several of our customs go against the will of the Tanzambi. Okay, wait, that, again, again. She claimed that several of our customs go against the will of the Tanzambi. Mm -hmm. That is the service. The, that was the, the result of the work of Kadi Ampeba. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, that's why, you know, that's why, well, once again, that's why you ran away from church. Because the religions, the religion system, they hold themselves in grace. And, you know, they take advantage from grace. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Tokus Assembly is, you know, the way it is organized, most of the laws, if I can say that this, this way comes from the Old Testament. You know, if I can say 60, 70 percent, 70 percent, Old Testament, full of laws, many laws. Young people, I, they cry. They cry, including me when I was young, you know, much younger. I mean, they cry a lot. They cry a lot. There is a lot of, a lot of law, laws. And we still have a tabernacle. But you don't find tabernacle out there. Why? They don't know the value of that. 
of the tabernacle. Why? Why tabernacle? This is a time of grace. Let's, you know, grace, grace. You can see it on Friday, on Saturday, and Sunday you go to church. That's why, you know, Mary said to the sister, you know, several of, of the custom you see out there in religion go against the will of the time. Why? That's wrong. Yes, my Shelley. Right. She claimed that several of our customs go against the will of Tatanzambi and that because of this, we continually dishonor Tatanzambi in our behavior. She added that some of us naively believe some of these teachings and behaviors since this is what our predecessors taught us and passed down to us from one generation to the next. Meanwhile, the majority of them, particularly those that like her as the authority are incorrect. According to her, it is impermissible to pray to anything or to pray through anyone other than Yesu Christo, other than Yesaya Congo. Because I had spent my entire life being brought up in the Catholic Church, the only way I had ever known how to worship was through the Catholic religion. Okay. This is what she said. You know, Mary, you know, she used that name. Why? Because this is how Isaiah is known. Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. That is how she is known. Right? That's why she used that name. So that she can understand very well. And she was like... Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. That you know, she the only way she she taught, she she learned how to, to pray to Tatan Zambi was through the Catholic religion. And now she realized that everything she learned was error. Everything. And this is not the first testimony in family. There is a lot. But we'll just give you this one. Yes, Mama Shelley. At first. I found it very challenging to comprehend what was being spoken. For clarification, I approached her with a few inquiries into the moral implications of this action. Then she proceeded to tell me that we do not need to call upon any outside help in this regard. She explained to me that just like everyone else on earth, she was solely favored by Tatanzambi and assigned to carry out the mission, which was to give birth to Isaiah Congo, Jesus Christ, in human form, and that she had already fulfilled her responsibilities as a human being, and it ends there. Luke 1.30. You can continue. Okay. Praying to the saints. She explained to me that there is nothing quite like praying to the saint and that those individuals who we consider to be saints, they're not saints at all. <laughs> Rather, they're all demonic spirits and fallen angels who got cast out of heaven a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yala. 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 Who was on the previous teaching? Here, anybody was in the previous teaching, previous Sunday, last Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Can you can, can you relate this testimony to what the man said concerning you know Satan, Catholic Church fall from from heaven? It was cast in heaven to earth and is now deceiving many people. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Mama Zola. Yeah. You relate that? Yes. Yes, I can see that. Do you see? The one the word of the Wanda and the, these sisters are saying, we don't know this sister. We don't know her, this sister. She's from Brazil. We don't know her. But this is what she said. This is what she said. This saint, those saints, the one the last time said, those, you know, the mother said the Catholic Church was was cast from heaven to earth. And the Kajampemba brought that system with him. 
and everything he saw in heaven, he imitated and is doing on earth. Everything you see in Catholic Church, you know, the way they rule, the way they govern, the way they are st structured. Even when they came to Africa, you know, they came to Africa to deceive. The mother said, you know, even when they came to Africa, they came with an evil intention, but they were very structured, very organized. All those, those stuff that the Pemba saw there in heaven, including even the way they dressed. The way they dressed. That dressed, you know, the way you see that garment and stuff. And the Pemba saw everything up there in Zulu. The, in Zulu, in heaven, they use robe. Rob. And the waist, the waist, you know, the belt is gold, as I said previously. And they brought everything down there on earth and they inverted everything. Now they create, they say that the priest, to be holy, they must dress those black robe. <laughs> those black robe is an invitation to demon. <laughs> Family, can you hear me? In Geta. In Geta. Let me say it again. Those black robes you see, those are invitation to demon. The way they equip themselves. You know? Because in heaven, there's no, there's no, there's not su such a thing. There's not. And those saints, those people, you know, in Catholic Church, you can pray to the saint. You know, Saint Mark, Saint Luke, Saint this and that, you know. There are many saints. A father who was a Catholic father and he died because of his holiness, they said, now you become a saint and you can pray through him or to him. Those saints family, they are evil entity. I'm going to prove this once again. In Angola, there is a guy called, uh, what is that name, this guy? Oh, I forgot. That guy is a very famous, he's a, I can say he's a very famous witch. He assumed himself to be a witch. You know, he's a very famous witch. You know, he assumed to be everything, Kibanda, Sangoma, everything. And he said, he said, the power that I use to perform the rituals, you know, if you, in his office, and by the way, this information is also on YouTube, but it's in the Portuguese. He said that if you go, if you enter in his office, you will find many statues. There is the statue of Mary. There is the statue of, you know, Catholic saint. And the, the, the journalist asked, but why do you have a lot of statues? He said, these statues, you know, is for is for the Catholic saints. He said, those saints, those statues that you see there, those uh, those guys, they are considered to be saints. But I use my their power to do, you know, witchcraft. The guy is speaking like this. The guy, I can't see it in the video, but it is in Portuguese. Those are not saint family. It's all, you know, saint. They are demonic spirit and the fallen angels who got cast out from heaven. You wonder why if you, you know, I want you to go to the internet and, and type Notre Dame, you know, Notre Dame Catholic, uh, Catholic Cathedral, you know, something like that. In France, there is a Catholic cathedral called Notre Dame. If you see around this Catholic, you know, temple, it's full of a weird image. Weird image, family. Weird image. Image of demons. You know, perverted image. Does anybody saw that? Or anybody? Nieta. Nieta. No. You yeah. Let, let me let, let, let me show you very quick. Just a second. I want to show you this. I hope I found it very 
I hope I find, I find it easily. Oh, my internet is kind of low. Oh, goodness. You know, anybody, but if, if anybody also go to the internet, I would appreciate it. Let, let me know because my internet is kind of low or the PC is heavy. Just say Notre Dame. You know, Notre Dame, image around Notre Dame, something like that. You know, let me, uh, I guess a second family. Because when I'm on the Zoom, the internet gets very heavy. Can you hear me, family? Ingeta. Ingeta. Okay. Ingeta. Just a second, please. Uh, let me do this. Let me show you. If if anybody is a Catholic, you know, if you know a person who is a Catholic, they must explain you why those image. And the response must make sense. You know, otherwise, yes, evil image, round, you know, not uh, not redam. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Those very e was very. Those images weird, family. <laughs> it's weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, family, check it out. Can you see? Um, in get Yes. Now we can gargoyles. See. In can you explain to me what is this? This image here is around the temple. You know this image. They call them gargoyles. Yes. You know? The if you explain, if you ask, they will say, no, these guys, those are image, you know. Yes, they are there, you know, gargoyles, they are there to protect, you know. I mean, <laughs> you know, even a baby doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't, you will not believe that, that that's kind of answer. You know, those image, just look, look, this image, look, look. Coming from a place of holiness, right? Just look. You know, this evil image. Look. Yeah, yeah, Can you yeah. see here? All those images you find. And you also find nudity. Children. You find an image of children. A family. That, that, you know. Just look. Look. Look at this image. Look. Around the temple, look at this image. Look at this one. I want to open, you know. You can also go to the internet and you will find it. Look, this image around the temple. Look at this image. Look at this image. This one. This one. What is this? What is this? Look, this image. <laughs> You know, all this image. Look at this image. What is this? You will know them by their fruits. You know. Anyway, family, you can you can you can research the rest, right? On your own. And you will find it. Yes, Mama Twala, you can go back, please. But this is the message, you know, and those are the kind of stuff we have to present to those family members who are still wasting time in this wicked religion. Right? Show them all those images. Show them. Yes, Mama, Mama, Mama Shelley? Okay. Point 13. Point 13. They act as though they are the biblical apostles from centuries past. It's true that they help those who pray to them by entering their request, but they're still demonic. Praying to her, Mary, or any of the other things is an act of worship to demons. Mm -hmm. But idolatry. But idolatry. Yes. Catholic idolatry. She, Mary, stated that many people over the years and throughout history have always adored her and worshipped her by carving images of her and placing those images in their churches or other places of worship. She stated that those prayers are not made to her in any way, 
but rather they are offered to the demonic spirit that have inhabited those images and paintings. Mm -hmm. That is true. She told me that this was idolatry. Sorry. Excellent. Those evil, those demonic spirits, you know, are those you see around the temple, those image. Those image is to, to, to praise those evil spirits. They demanded that, you know, they said you have to create an image of us around your temple. And they asked, but what people will think about that? And they invented a reason. They say no, just say, you know, those are, you know, Google or this and that, all of that. But the truth is that those evil spirits, they respond to their prayers in exchange to what they demand them to do. Yes, Michelle. Yes, Michelle, let's go. Point 16. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was muted. Exodus 20, 45. I, okay. uh, she told me I was needed to send the message to every other Christian, particularly Catholic Christians. According to her, our doctrine, as well as the way that we currently carry out our services and church, need to undergo significant revisions. Mm -hmm. Yalla. Yalla. It Yalla. needs to go Yalla. under significant revision. Family, you wonder why Simon Tok was always in fight with the missionaries, whether they are Catholic fathers or whether they are, uh, 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 you know, whether they are, uh, what is that, you know, from Baptist. They, you know, Toko was always in fight. Let me tell you something. The people who, you know, who torment people, Toko, Simon Toko the most, is not the, the, the is not the, the, the Portuguese government. Or let me say, is not the, the authority entities. No. It was the religious entities. They are the ones who, who, who reported, you know, small toko to the entities, and they are the ones who put pressure on their authorities to torment or to punish small toko. Why? Toko was always confronting them. And if you go back back in the days, if you go back back in the days, you know, who 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 were accusing Isaiah family? Who was? Was it the authority? The religious rulers. Huh? Yes. The religious rulers. Yes. Right from the Pharisees. Why? Because they were liars. Isaiah said, You are liars. You place burden to people, but you don't even touch with your finger. They got mad. They say, Oh, this guy is denouncing, he's denouncing us. They got mad, very mad. Isaiah said, you are full of dry, Mama Zola, help me, you are full of dead bones. Isaiah was denouncing them. You are, in other words, you are demons. That's why he said, you know, there are many people who consider themselves a Jew, but they are not. They are, you know, they are part of the synagogue of what? Of Satan. That means Satan is their father. They are not. That's the same thing also. Those religion, you know, people, <laughs> family. The Manda is very nice. The Manda denounce everything. The Manda denounce everything. The Manda goes back to the future. As we speak, the Manda goes to the future. Future. He sees everything. He comes back to the present and they announce the future. He goes back to the past. Uh, rather, he goes back to the past. He comes to the present. See the present and announce the future. Yes, Mama Shelley. Um. Okay. Um, she told me I was needed to send a message to every other Christian, particularly Catholic Christians. According to her, our doctrine, as well as the way that we currently carry out our services and church, need to undergo significant revisions. I can't see um, anything under that. She went. 
She went on to explain to me that even the Pope is not someone who should be adored. Amen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Catholic, they, they do that. Even in the land, you find people bow down to that man. <laughs> yes, let's go. I begin to I began to inquire about this and about the other numerous teachings that Christian denominations have taken on board. She informed me that some of them had merit, such as praying to Tatanzambi in the first person, and then admitting one sin to Yesaya Congo. She told me that any other practice that places another living being in a position of reverence is fundamentally flawed and should be avoided at all costs. She stated that Jesus, Yesaya Congo, the son of Tatanzambi, and Tatanzambi himself are the only ones who are worthy of our devotion, not her or any other saints. It is imperative that we worship God, Tatanzami, with extreme caution and awareness of the manner in which we do serve so that we do not accidentally worship another evil being. You must stop reciting Hail Mary. Oops, sorry, I just disappeared. Okay. Point 22. She told me, you must stop reciting Hail Mary and other ungodly reactions now. Mm -hmm. Recitations now. Yes. Can anybody explain to me what is that? Reciting Hail Mary? It's a, it's a prayer that um, the Catholic people say. Wow. Even that thing, you know, how do you call that? When they pray, they count, you know, that color they use. What is that? A rosary bead. Yeah, oh. they use the rosary bead. Rosary. And they say the Hail Mary. Yes. You know, Mary also told the whole, don't, don't, don't throw it away. Throw it away. You know, when the Catholic invaded Congo, they, you know, they they put those things on our people on the neck. Back in the days, I'm speaking about 1949. And when the Mwanda Villa came down in the Congo, the first thing the Mwanda was busy removing from people was those things. Doesn't care. When the Mwanda's up, uh, up on a person, sees a person, you know, wearing those stuff, the Mwanda will go, will grab and just pull it away. That's why also many people back in the days, many of artists, they were arrested because of what they were doing. All those things are evil. Family, that was the word of the man of Elela above. And later on, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll finish by sharing with you a testimony from this sister, you know, that's contained in the information she got from, from Mary. Zambi, you know, sent Mary to speak to her after, you know, her nearly death experience so that she can come back and transmit those message to those who are still busy, to those who are still stuck in Catholic, you know, wasting time in Catholic. Those saints they bring to, they're not saints. No, they're not. Mama Tola, I think you can stop presenting, please. Those, they are not saints, family. They are not. And we want you to pay very close attention to this message and connect this message to the last, last teaching. That's why every teaching is, is important. We must focus and pay attention. You know, last session, last Sunday, last teaching and this teaching, Connect, put it together, and compare the information. 
from the word of the Moana Velala to the testimony that came from this sister for you to see if this is true, the word of the Moana is true or not. But there is more. <laughs> there is more. When the Moana is speaking about the Catholic Church family, I don't know why, sometimes we, we ask ourselves, sometimes we ask the Moana, but why do you say like that about the Catholic Church? <laughs> this means there is something even, you know, we can't even imagine on what they are doing. They are busy doing a lot of wicked, evil things. You already know, if you go to the internet, you will see the evil they used to do. But there is more. That's why the Moana hate that. Hate that. And when the Moana spoke about the Pope, the Moana called him Lucifer. That one, that guy, the Lucifer, and I'm like, what? Yes, the Lucifer. He's thinking that he's the one who governed the world. That guy. You wonder why when he came to, to Mbanza, Congo, to the capital of the kingdom of Congo, the head of Pope fell down on the ground out of nowhere. Fall, you know, the head is here. But as soon as he landed and he goes to Mbanza, Congo, which is the, former, the, cap, the capital of the kingdom of Congo, his head fall, fell. Fall, fell. Yeah, fell. That means removal of power and authority, lost power and authority. Because the head in the army, you know, gives you also authority and power. But there, he lost it. So, Matano Masaka, dear family, means I'm in Pongo, bless you. And thank you for your patience. As we said, we are not to say if you are Catholic, you will go to hell. No. But we are saying, watch out. The time is now to listen. And if you have a Catholic family member, calm down, cool off, and talk to the person. Normally, no attack. Otherwise, they will shut you down. But share this is the video. Share this note. And talk to the person slowly. But the truth is, Kadi Ampemba is busy deceiving the world. And the Catholic, they can't deny it. Because back in slavery, the one responsible for the slavery was the Catholic Church. They were the one baptizing slaves, alleging that they have an evil spirit. You wonder why people they were big in mass, but they become dumb. They, they had no strength to fight back. There was a brainwash, but not a physical brainwash, spiritual brainwash. That's the reason they, they were afraid. Matono Masaka family, Menzambia, will bless you. Increasingly, greatly. Mama Matzola, thank you very much. I'll give you time back. And get her. Get the Matono Masaka Pangi um, Benika for bringing that message from the Mwanda Velala to us all. Mais ça, je ne 